Hi, Bill Presley with Directive Force Putters. Uh, we're out here at the beautiful Somerset Golf and Country Club as a guest of the Northern Nevada PGA Professional of the Year 2017, Mr. Stuart Smith. So big shout out to Stu, thanks for having us out. I uh, want we'll to do a little video today on the fitting putter. I get a lot of questions. A lot of people don't even know we have a fitting putter. But uh, basically, we engineered the fitting putter so that we could fit, fit length, lie angle, and grip size. And so I'm going to briefly uh, go over this, you know, how, this is how I store it. So I put the putter in a straight, straight up position. The lie angle gauge gets magnetized onto the shaft on the, on the flange side. This is the length, length tightening wrench and this is the lie angle tightening wrench. So I just put it in the vent hole. These two also clip together with the uh, fitting, directed force fitting kit, you get the Johnson Level and Tool Digital Lie Angle Gauge, compliments of my, my good friend uh, Paul Bazell. And uh, you have this little pouch here, so if you're doing a demo day or you're fitting a lot of putters, we just keep it right in the pouch. That way uh, it's safe and it's easy to access. So, um, essentially, one of the things I get a lot is how do I take a lie angle reading? So on the fitting putter shaft, we have links, which I'm going to go over in a second. You can see the links here. So that's really self-explanatory. When we tighten this nut, we don't need to tighten it down very much. And then we can push it up and down, get it to where you want it, and don't crank on it. Um, it it's pretty firm. I, I just barely touched that and it locks in pretty good. So I'm just going to set this up into, into a lie angle. And so we can see we're at 35. Actually, I'm just going to push it down to 35 inches real quick. So there's 35 inches. And this is a pretty flat lie angle. So how to take the reading. So we're going to get this, this angle right here. You take the digital lie angle gauge. You put it on the top line of the putter so it's parallel with the leading edge. We turn it on and then we hit zero. Now you can see it's zero right there. Now we're going to put it on shaft. Now we can see this 64.3. So we're going to round down to 63. Again, zero. I moved a little bit. Hit zero. And move it over here. So 64.1. So it's tight. It's very uh, accurate. Uh, very tight tolerances to within a tenth of a tenth of a degree. All right, so now how to make it 70 degrees. So now we're going to take and zero out to the shaft. And we put it back here. We should get, there's your 64.1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head. I'm just going to move it up. Again, we go zero. So 73 made too big of a move there. There's 70, 68, 69.8. So now I take the putter, put it face down, take the wrench, and give it a tighten. So now we have a putter that's set up to 35 inches at 70 degrees. In case somebody has been fitted somewhere else, or they're used to a certain spec, and they just want to try the directed force putter at a certain lie angle, um, you can actually, you know, all you have to do is zero out to the shaft and then put this on the head and you can set the head to wherever you need it. Now one of the other neat things about the directed force fitting putter if I'm, if I'm have two different players, or I have, you know, obviously we have several hundred people in a membership, we want to make sure that we can fit 100% of our members. So with the directed force, we can fit to right-handed players. 
but we can fit your left-handed players. So this is one of the few fitting putters that actually flips around both left and right-handed and telescopes from 32 inches up to 38 and a half inches. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. Bill Pressey with Directed Force Putters.